Welcome to another powerful Chi Life webinar, another powerful Chi Life training. My name is Boris Kirchner. So I wonder, has anyone here ever thought that there could be more to life than what you've experienced so far? Who here would like to have better results in their health, their wealth, their happiness, relationship, or their spiritual connection? And who here would like to have a step-by-step roadmap leading you to a life beyond what the world thinks is possible. So if you haven't yet achieved some of your dreams, it's not your fault. And we're about to share with you why. Here is um, a quick overview of what you're going to get from this masterclass. The first aspect that we want to focus on is this new approach to reality, a new way of thinking about life, about your place in life. So regaining control of your life through a new paradigm of reality. Number two is shifting into that new paradigm, activating the power of transcendence. Transcendence is also the ending of a trance. And trance is essentially that sense of hypnosis that we fall into and as we get stuck in certain cycles and routines in life. Number three is how to ascend the levels of consciousness. This is the transcending the secret obstacles that stand in the way. It's not always obvious what's missing. It's not always obvious. Um, why is it that we can't get to that next level? We want to touch in on that. And lastly, we want to share with you the inner circle four-step formula, which is the exact recipe for how to successfully manifest your goals. Okay. So that's the lineup. And here are your presenters for tonight. So before we jump in, I want to just take a quick moment to introduce myself. So like I said in the opening, my name is Boris Kirchner. My story really starts when I was 18 years old. Um, at 18, my mom passed away. Now, my mom was a doctor. She was surrounded by doctors. She was working in the central hospital in Vancouver, and nobody could help her. And slowly, I had to watch her, you know, get sicker and sicker and sicker and kind of fade away. And it was really hard for me to handle it at 18 years old. I didn't have any tools that I have now. And it was, um, it was a difficult journey, but it was also the genesis of something. Witnessing that experience had inspired me to search after the question of what is it that truly makes a difference in our health, in our life? What is that that can heal? What is that that can allow us to have a degree of well-being, a degree of strength and clarity and joy and happiness and fulfillment in our lives? And so that started me down the search and I went through many different modalities. I started out with energy work Many of you are here familiar with Reiki. I studied many different modalities, um, matrix energetics, reconnection, uh, quantum touch. All of these different things are so fascinating to me because I was like, okay, maybe this here is something different, something that was missed by the, so to speak, like a mainstream, my mom and, and, the, and the medical establishment. So as I continued through that journey, I thought, okay, so maybe there's something that we can do. And I wanted to ground it. I thought maybe if I can ground it in the body, in the energy of the body. So I started to, um, I became a shiatsu therapist. I went to school and learned the, uh, the massage therapy called shiatsu, which is about the acupuncture meridians and acupressure meridians through the body and balancing the energy in the body. But I noticed that as people would come in and see me and they would feel good and they feel great and some of their symptoms would be going away, but if they wouldn't see me for a little while and then they come back and it'd be the exact same thing, you know, the same thing would re-manifest, the same pain, the same ache. And I thought, gosh, why is that? You know, I wanted to really make a difference. And I wondered, what is that? You know, I don't want to be just kind of like a car mechanic, you know, uh, doing the same thing over and over again. I wanted to make, you know, a difference at the causal level. So I thought, okay, if the cause is not in the body, maybe it's in the mind. And this is where I was inspired to pursue psychology and psychotherapy. And I became a, a psychotherapist. And even in that space, then watching as people would come in and watching with my colleagues as people would come in, 
and it would come in for years or months, you know, and, and, and still be essentially in the same story, in the same problem with not much resolved. And I thought, gosh, how could this be? And then it came to me in one moment and as, um, as, I, as I touched into nutrition, and I thought, wow, how come neither the, you know, the, uh, the body-based therapies such as shiatsu or massage and nor the psychotherapy or psychology-based therapies ever ask about what a person eats? Like, wouldn't that make a big difference if somebody's eating, excuse me, crap, right? Wouldn't they feel like crap? I know that I would, and I know that I do. When I, when, I, when I fall off of that, you know, clean nutrition, certainly the energy levels drop, the mood can drop. So I thought, okay, maybe this is the answer. So I became a nutritionist as well. And so I was combining these things. And I still, as I was going through this training, I was still seeing like, wow, there is something missing here. And, and what, where that took me is a, a journey around the world to spend time with spiritual teachers and to try to really understand what is the foundation of our experience? What is consciousness? What is awareness? What is spirit? What do these things actually mean in, in real embodied experience? And so through this kind of training, through this mentorship, through sitting with different teachers, I got to kind of discover something. I got to discover that inner space, that, that transcendent space, that um, pure awareness or pure consciousness. And when I went back to um, my, my psychology school and I kind of shared some of this with them, everybody was just kind of like, they just didn't see the practicality of it. So it's like this, you know, psychology is really based around working with our ego, but transcendence, awakening, um, spirituality, you know, that sense of self-actualization is not based on trying to fix an ego. Instead, it is about realizing what we are outside and beyond the ego. So this will be some of the things that we'll be sharing with you today. But just to conclude my little story, it's that I found that in the end, it's not any one of those things. It's not nutrition. It's not psychology. It's not spirituality. It's not, um, you know, massage therapy or energy work. It is all of these things. It is this holistic synergy, the synergy between all of these different cofactors that, um, you know, that really makes a difference, that really allows us to move into the next level of our experience. So, David, welcome. Hey, Boris, how are you doing? Doing amazing. So I just got to kind of introduce our topic and I got to share a little bit of my story. And I would love to, um, especially for those who are brand new to our webinars, maybe to hear a little bit from you and your background, your story. Okay, my background, my story. So this all started when I was searching for a way to heal myself. I was searching spiritually as well. And I was chronically ill for 10 years with an incurable disease. It's a digestive disorder that no one can cure. So there's no uh, medication. There's no surgery that can absolutely cure this disease I had. So I went to different specialists, different naturopathic doctors, and then none of them can really help me to heal this problem. And every day I was living in pain, everything I suffered. I was so tired every day. I couldn't focus because I had brain fog every day. And it was just, just survival mode for 10 years. And I kind of went into a time in my life when I was just gave up and I said, this is how it's going to be. I guess I'll just have to suffer for my whole life. This is the normal. But then something inside me said that I needed to keep looking. I need to keep searching because there must be a way. I mean, there's lots of people who have very healthy lives and are very energetic and very productive and very successful. And I want to be that. So I started experimenting with different technologies, such as the cheek coils that I um, further developed into, into my own technology. Now, now they're called the cheek coils using frequencies. And then the first time I turned it on, I felt this sensation that I never felt before in my gut. And I knew that I was doing something different from anything else that I ever tried. And then after about 90 days, long story short, I was able to self heal 100% completely. And I had no symptoms after that. Um, and it was just miraculous. My life changed ever since then. And I was able to, you know, 
um, cultivate and, and harness the energy in my own inner life force. That's why I call chi life. We want to, my, my dream is my, my vision is to have you experience a life with chi, with chi energy. And before I thought chi energy was just something you saw in Kung Fu movies or some super superhero movies. But now after many years of research and many years of um, developing technology and studying, um, you know, I've discovered that actually this is real and this is, there's a lot of scientific proof over the last 20 years, even after in the last um, 80 years, actually, that proved that Qi energy is, is real and it's scientific and uh, modern conventional science is just playing catch up right now to what we're doing and what a lot of uh, the, the world's leading scientists are discovering right now is that this Qi energy is actually everywhere and it's limitless and it is there's no limit to how much energy you can tap into the uh, into. Yeah, so I transformed my life. I started this company. I developed this technology, and you're watching this because of what I've been able to put together, of uh, the effort and the manifestation that I've been able to um, manifest together with uh, friends like Boris and the rest of the team here. So I'm very happy where uh, we are going, and I'm very excited for you to be. On this webinar and to you know take part in this journey with us we are literally transforming lives if you meet and if you listen or you hear or watch the videos of the people that are using our product um you'll find that we are literally transforming lives so that's what we're talking about today right transformation today so that's my story so i guess i'll chime in a little bit more later but let's continue with uh, what boris is doing here yeah that's awesome david Thank you, by the way, thank you so much, because, you know, without your work and without your inspiration and, you know, the thing is, is that even without that disease, that discomfort that you experienced, we wouldn't, none of us would be here. So it's, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's like this, it's like when I was sharing my story too. So first of all, I want to honor and thank you for, you know, for following through on that inspiration. And that space, you know, it's like those moments, those problems, right, that we encounter, they become these opportunities. Like in David's case, something that was so um, painful and uncomfortable turned into all of us being here and literally, you know, changing the quality of our lives, changing the quality of our consciousness, rippling out into the collective. And so, very much similar, you know, with me, it's like that moment where my mom passed away. God, what a loss, what an incredible, wow, the turmoil that I went through back then. But, but that was that upside down miracle in my life that got me started into really discovering the more of life, discovering what, you know, what we're really here to do and what, and who and what we really are. And so it's, um, is beautiful and we can be when we can see that and we can realize and be um, grateful for these for these moments. Uh, we can just touch on a few things. We yeah. have a uh, special offer this week and it's a limited time. So you probably got the email already. I think it has uh, something to do with um, special discount on a special frequency set of frequencies that we have this week. Weight loss and beauty. That's right. So yeah, so you get an extra 25% off the uh, already discounted price. So your weight loss and and, and beauty. Um, if you watch my, who watches my workout videos? I'm doing some workout videos recently on YouTube. Anybody here? If you, <laughs> some of you, are, okay. Some of you are watching my workout videos. Okay, so, um, so you, you can see, like I got some muscles now and I don't even work out that much. <laughs> Those videos I do, I, those videos I do on YouTube, I do it once a week. That's all I do. And people say, well, do you look like you work out every day? Mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I just work out once a week. That's it. That's that's what you see. What do you see on my live videos? How much I work out? So so people say, well, how do you get the muscles like that? How do you get the strength and stamina like that? Well, the secret is using frequencies, right? So when I'm using frequencies, I'm basically programming my body to lose weight, program my body to build muscle, program my body to to get stronger, more stamina, become faster. And I don't have to work out that much. And even don't work out, it's going to help. So that's what these frequencies are for. Um, these weight, weight loss ones, uh, it's for men and women. Doesn't matter what fitness level you are. Doesn't matter if you work out or not. It's going to help you and, you know, help you get a better body that you want. Um, and the beauty ones, 
you can see Boris skin, you can see my skin. It's almost perfect, right? <laughs> it's immaculate. How is that possible? Right? Um, it's not like we go for like facial treatments every every day. Do you do that, Boris? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. yeah. So so um how 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 do we do this? Well, we use electromagnetic frequencies, we use the sound frequencies, we use the chi coils, we use the oral coils, we use the resonant ones. Um, naturally helps you increase the blood flow throughout your skin so that you can have this glow, this natural glow on your face and on your, your skin of your whole body. They say the skin is the largest organ of the body. So what are you doing to taking care of it? And the cool thing is that the frequencies go through in, in your entire body, not just your skin, go into the, um, your muscles, your tissues, your bones, all your organs are absorbing this chi energy and it's like wireless and it's and it's silent. So, you, you know, those, um, you know, Tai Chi or Qigong masters, they had these long beards and these like long <laughs> white eyebrows, you know, in the Kung Fu movies, they're like 150 years old and they can still do Kung Fu. How do they do it? <laughs> well, it's because they meditate. It's because they access this Qi energy, that this force, this life force that helps them to stay healthy. Um, and they don't, they don't have to take any supplements. They don't have to do any drugs, they don't have to do any um, surgery, and they can stay healthy for many, you know, for many, many years, and stay very vigorous and, and uh, stay very energetic. So that's what these frequencies are for. If you're looking for something like that, I highly recommend it. You got a special discount this week. Um, so take advantage of it. Every week, we have a special deal. Once it's over, we won't have that deal again for I don't know, at least six months. So um, if you're looking for something, now's the time to do it. Okay, so that's the announcement. And then later on, we're going to have a special, uh, very special offer that's only available uh, if you watch this webinar. And you know, stay until the end, and we're going to explain what that's going to be. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much about, for that, David. I see here uh, Janelle is saying, you know, do these weight loss frequencies uh, and the beauty frequencies, do they work like magic if you're consistent with meditating and listening to them? How, how would you answer that one, David? Um... Well, I just like, what do you mean work like magic? I guess, what, what do you mean by magic? Because basically everything we're doing right now, depending on where your, your frame of mind is, it is magic. And then, but it's science at the same time, right? Like, you know, some people can look at science to let's say someone from 500 years ago comes, looks at what we do now. They say, oh, you guys are doing magic, but it's all science now, right? So, so is it magical? Yes, to some people it may seem magical, but is it science? Yes, is it science? Because because that's what we do as a company. We develop this technology to make it work. And does it work like magic? I guess the according to that expression, yes, because it works so quickly. It works without, it works invisibly. It works um, differently than what most people can accept um, to work. So you can say as an expression, yes, it works like magic, but it's not magic, it's science. Okay, does that answer that question? Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> Janelle, I would also say that the one thing, you know, when you're, if you're concerned about beauty and anti-aging um, and even weight loss, really also very key for weight loss, the thing that the frequencies, you know, won't impart to you is, is water. So water is really important to drink, especially uh, like um, mineralized water, right? Um, I always add trace minerals to my water um, and this helps the electroconductivity of the body to increase, which actually uh, improves the effectiveness of the frequencies. And again, water is a conductor, so it, it helps to even, again, absorb the frequencies deeper, have a deeper effect, but even in and of themselves, what the, the other thing that the frequencies do, the, the pulsed electromagnetic fields do, is they, um, they help to facilitate the nutrient and waste exchange in the cells. And for that flush to take place, it's really important that you're well hydrated. So drinking water and also working with the chi energy, they go hand in hand. Like the chi energy helps you to hydrate deeper at a deeper cellular level, but the water is also helping to enhance the, uh, the chi energy activity. So yeah, speaking of water, water is a, a basically a crystal, right? Um, and we are all basically have crystals inside us. So every every molecular structure is a crystal. And the more water you have in yourself, then the more crystallized you become. And uh, 
the more crystallized you become, the more more structures, more more crystal structures you can create. Because basically, basically, what what um, all the frequencies do is actually we build build them off of geometry, and we build them off of structures from molecules. So wh whenever you have liquid or water inside yourself, now you have the canvas for or the programming or the code that you need in your body to be programmed. So it makes you yeah. So just like what Boris says. Um, the more water that you have in your body, um, then the more easy it is to program your body. Yeah. And you can even pre-program the water. You can structure the water using the cheek coils, which actually um, changes the way that the molecular bonds are coming together. And it essentially, with, with, with the water forming a more harmonious uh, bonds between the water molecules, often called hexagonal water, it becomes essentially wetter. It's that we, the, the water itself becomes more easily absorbed. So we call it wetter because it's got less surface tension. And then it can actually penetrate even deeper into the body, clear out even more. So it's um, water and frequencies, amazingly powerful medicine. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we're planning to do some, some studies on that. Like very clearly, like using our technology, if you just use a cheek coil and just put it on, you know, on water for like five minutes, you can clearly see the the difference between the two if you do take photos of it you see that there's a more uh, light refraction in the water so basically the the water glows more it looks brighter to the to the naked eye you can see this clearly we can take photographs of it and you can see that um that's right so as uh Laura said we also have a lower surface tension that lower so surface tension in the water and then and the neat thing is that um, even if you keep diluting the water, let's say you you program the the water with some certain certain frequency, you run the cheek coil on the water, you keep diluting it. No matter how much you dilute it, it still has the frequency in the water. Isn't that interesting? So you think mm -hmm. that the more you dilute it, let's say you pour more water in here, and then you get another jug, and you pour more water in there, and you get another jug, and you pour water in there. So eventually, you're thinking that there's no more of the original water left in the in the jug, right? But what happens is that um, when you program water, you restructure water, it's holographic. So you know that when it's holographic, all you need is just one part of the hologram to affect the entire hologram. So so when you keep the log so then basically what I'm saying is that um, once water is structured it can actually structure other water that's made contact with mm -hmm. very cool it reminds me of the um, homeopathy principle right like where they take something and they dilute it and they dilute it and they dilute it and by the end the original substance doesn't seem to be there but what's there is i think just like what you're sharing is that holographic imprint of the you know the herb or whatever it is that they, they've been working with yeah so so that blows people's minds because like conventionally you think that you need to have a chemical in that water you need to have some kind of molecule in the water for the water to to uh present that trait or or create that reaction right mm -hmm. but now with this new we call it new science or whatever you're going to call it we call it quantum uh, actually it's beyond quantum you call this like um she energy okay and now we find that we don't actually need the chemical we can actually program and use frequencies to create a program in the water itself and then you don't need the chemical and mm -hmm. and when you do that you can actually make it stay in that water too for as long for for a long very long time so let's say that there's no other kinds of frequencies going on if you program water it would stay there for about two weeks so the energetics signature of whatever you program let's say we want to do vitamin d right so we have a frequency for vitamin d it's free you can go on youtube you can get this frequency off for vitamin d so we program that into the water and it's pretty simple all you need is to put it, uh, the, the vitamin d frequency through your app and then run it through the cheek hole or you can just play the sound directly if you don't have a cheek hole just play the sound of the vitamin d frequency in front of speakers and put this in front of speakers put your water in front of the speakers and then that water will have vitamin D in it. Not the molecule of vitamin D, but it will have the energetic programming of vitamin D. So when you drink it, your body will respond to it as if 
actually better than if you take vitamin D tablets because your body and your cells absorb frequencies about 100 times more efficiently than chemical. Pretty mind blowing, right? It's amazing. It's amazing. And, you know, just to tie this into our, you know, our conversation for today, it's like what we're talking about here is about building the foundation for, you know, for what it is that, that, that we want to attain here, right? We're, we're, we're wanting to live a life of joy, really our core, you know, um, desire is happiness. But what we're talking about here are the different building blocks. So when, when you take care of your body in just these really simple ways, totally like ways that we normally wouldn't think about, but as it's emerging here, we're beginning to understand um, how to view, right? How to view reality in a, in a brand new way. So there appear to be many, many problems confronting us today. Uh, collective problems, problems in our personal life. But the truth is this, the truth that we want to kind of offer you, invite you into, is that there's really only one problem. And that one problem is that we're attuned to a low energy paradigm of consciousness that does not support fulfillment, the fulfillment of our greater potential. What does this mean? What it really means is that, you know, that there, there are essentially levels of consciousness. There, there, there are levels of perception, ways that we, you know, look at reality. If you can think about somebody who's in a lot of pain and, um, you know, suffering with a great deal of maybe illness, disease, um, pain, right? That person sees a particular kind of world, right? That world in, that the person sees is um, only confirming back to him that, you know, all of the limitations that he experienced. Uh, one great example of this, I don't know if you guys have heard about the, the, um, this gentleman, Dr. Joe Dispenza. He's had a beautiful, powerful influence on my life. But his story goes kind of like that. He, he was riding his bicycle and he got hit by a car. He got hit, plowed by a truck that ran a stop sign. And doctors told him, and he, he, got, he had all kinds of fractures in his spine and all of his bones. Doctors say, you can't walk, walk again. It's, you know, it, there's just, it's not possible. We can fuse your back and you can sit upright. And that's the best that we can do. So there is, depending on what level of consciousness you view that moment from, will determine what outcome you experience. It will determine what kind of world you have, what kind of problem you're encountering. From one point of view, you, you'll be encountering all kinds of problems saying, oh no, you know, what am I gonna do with my work, with my family, with my, with my wife, with my life? Like, what am I, you know, how can I possibly, my life is over and you get more depressed. And as you get depressed, what begins to happen is that all of those chemicals of depression shut down all of your natural healing responses, slow them down, um, stagnate them. And what you begin to experience is your life folding in on itself. You begin to get, it begins to get smaller, 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 and you become more and more sad and depressed until you eventually check out. But that's not what happened to Joe, right? Joe Dispenza did something else. He said, no way. I'm going to, I, I know that there's something else that I can do. I, I'm going to discover something within me. I'm going to find out how I can heal myself from within my own consciousness. And he took that experiment. Why not? He had all the time in the world. Now he's bedridden. He can't move. And so he began to use his mind to reconstruct his spine, to reconstruct his bones, to visualize them healing, to visualize sending nutrients. He began to use his intention. He began to use his attention. And where you place your attention and for how long determines your destiny. This is one of his quotes that's, you know, one of my favorite quotes of his. So I want to bring um, to this possibility that perhaps there isn't so many different problems to solve. Just like, let's say, when you're tuned in to a particular, um, let's say, TV channel, right? Let's say it's uh, one of the news channels, you will see there are so many problems, right? And then you, there you are, you're sitting maybe in your beautiful, calm environment, you have your family with you, and your mind, though, is plugged into a particular channel and you're downloading one problem after another, after another, and you're experiencing to you, this is virtual reality. To you, this is like, wow. I mean, you could say, yes, it is reality, but it's not actually your in the moment experience. You're plugged into a particular consciousness. You are conscious of 
all of these stream of problems and things going wrong. But when you change that channel, let's say you change that channel, you put it on like spa music with scenic nature backgrounds, <laughs> just for contrast. And um, what you have there instead is a completely different state begins to begins to emerge in your consciousness, begins to occupy your space. And now you are aware of something completely different. Well, reality works something very quite like that. It's that we are tuned in to particular channels of consciousness, particular levels of consciousness. And when we can begin to understand that, first of all, there are other channels and that we can navigate to them, this is where we begin to experience our greatest power, power of choice. What is that new approach to reality? Well, it's essentially the shifting of paradigms, the shifting of paradigms of consciousness. What we want to do is we want to switch out of certain channels and into new channels that are conducive and conductive to our fulfillment, our joy, what, what we truly, really want, right? So this is a shift from victimhood to conscious reality creator, okay? We're, we're gonna expand on these more. From a limited, conditioned, and separate sense of self that's alone in a world that it doesn't know, right? A stranger and afraid in a world I haven't made. <laughs> so it's about going from a limited, conditioned, and separate sense of self to sensing and experiencing yourself actually experiencing, not as a concept, not as a thought, not as a dogma, but experiencing yourself as an infinite being of power, freedom, and choice in flow and at one with all of creation, right? This is a completely different way of viewing the same thing. You see, the TV analogy kind of only goes so far, but in a way, maybe not, because you're actually viewing the same TV right? The TV doesn't change, but the channels on it change. Well, it's very similar. You're viewing the same world, but the channels, the way that it looks, the way that it appears changes, and it changes with the way that we use our consciousness. And lastly, you know, we can call this a shift from fear to love, from fear, you know, being a separate little self in, in a big world, with all kinds of different threats, of course it's fearful, of course it's anxiety provoking. You have so many things out of your control, of course it's depressing, but that is only one point of view. That is the point of view of your character, or we may call it your ego, but there are other points of view. There are higher points of view, and there is even um, a point of view that is not a point of view, that is essentially pure and free of viewpoints. And here we're touching in a little bit down the rabbit hole, but we're definitely, um, we're definitely going to go there. It's a shift of paradigms. But how do we access these new paradigms, right? What, what, what is it actually, right? So what it is, is I really love this graphic. It, it demonstrates or it, it, it pictures for me um, something that's really difficult sometimes to explain. On the one side, we have discipline. And discipline seems to be this like really regimented, clear-cut, linear process, uh, a sense of willing oneself towards a particular outcome, right? And on the other side, we have surrender. And surrender can be thought of as essentially surrendering to divine will, right? Surrendering, not in the sense of surrendering to your enemy. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about surrendering to love, which is a completely different um, quality here, right? So surrendering to oneness. So on the one side, you seem to have your own individual will with which you're pursuing a clear-cut goal. And on the other side, you have this sense of surrender, oneness, um, the sense of divine will, not mine, thy will be done. Like, what, what is that, right? Sometimes it's, it's difficult to make sense of it. So the way that I like to think of it is on the one side, we have self-actualization and on the other side, self-realization. And I really think of these two as like two wings of a bird, okay? So the self-actualization side is where you learn to 
artfully and skillfully express yourself in this dream of life. And the only way that you can really do that is by recognizing, first of all, that this is a dream. Second of all, that it's completely responsive to your consciousness, to your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, emotions. Um, so oh, that's on the one side, we have this aspect of self-actualizing. Actualizing what? Actualizing our potential, actualizing our soul calling, our soul blueprint, right? And on the other side, we have self-realization. And self-realization is about realizing and rediscovering, remembering who and what we truly are outside and beyond this dream, outside and beyond this body, outside and beyond our ego, right? Many of us have had these experiences. Sometimes they come through psychedelics. Sometimes they come through deep meditation experiences. Sometimes they come through intense trauma. Like, you know, for me, it happened when I lost my mom. I had suffered tremendous turmoil, a tremendous anger. And then there was this one day where I, I just had this Satori experience. It was like time was still, it, it, time stopped, everything stopped. It was pure silence. And in that silence, I got to feel that oneness. I got to recognize that actually everything is okay and always has been, that there are no accidents, that there is no real death, that nothing is ever lost. But this, is, this came to me not as a concept that I read. In fact, I had no spiritual training and it was very abrupt for me at that point to experience. But this came as a very clear kind of inner revelation. And so this, um, this way of navigating reality is very different from what you normally might think because in school, we're just taught, you know, like learn and then try to force your way into whatever you want, right? Force your way, meaning not just like fight your way to it, but force is also about manipulation. Force is also about bartering. Force is also about, you know, so it's this thing that basically says that there is a power outside of you and you need to navigate and negotiate with that power to get the little bits of things that you want, right? And some of us get a little bit more and some of us get less. Well, this is not that new paradigm that we're talking about. That's the old paradigm. In the new paradigm, we realize that this entire experience of life is flashing from our consciousness. And that when we kind of realize, when we, when we find those invisible levers, so to speak, invisible levers of our mind and our consciousness, we can begin to navigate this life in a completely new way. And here, this new way, one word for it is flow. Another word for it might be unlimited abundance. Another word for it might be fulfillment. Another word for it might be the peace that passes all understanding. A person who lives in this center experiences life as as a beautiful, beautific dream. Dream in the sense that life can't leave a scratch on what we truly are, but beautiful and engaging in the same way that a game might be, right? If you remember playing a game or playing a, you know, when we were children, we were playing games like, you know, um, different role-playing games um, or computer games. So all of these are really fun because you go into them and there is something to get. There's something that you, you want to create something masterfully. But at the same time, you know that in the end, no matter what happens, even if you die, you're always safe. Okay. So this is, you know, this is that way. And so with, with accessing the new paradigm, it is really about ascending the levels of self-realization, ascending the levels of self-actualization until we come to that sense of wakefulness until we awaken to what we truly are and what life or the world truly is. Ascending the levels of consciousness, this, this, is, this is the essence of how we access this new paradigm, right? So our essential problem is that problem of feeling stuck in a paradigm of consciousness or in, in life circumstances, another way of saying it, that perpetuates suffering and not knowing how to get out, right? For some of us, you know, it's essentially the, the whole core of it. What is that level of consciousness that, you know, is standing in the way? What is that level of consciousness that's unsavory? It's essentially the consciousness of lack, right? Of lack and limitation. 
if you listen to the world right now, if you hear what is being spoken all around you, you will basically, if you have an ear for it, you will see that people are talking themselves into their own limitations, into why they can't. It's not that we're doing this consciously, it's that we have all inherited this kind of programming, right? This kind of fall in programming where instead of saying, well, how can I? We always say, we tell ourselves why we can't, right? But what does it take? It just takes a different kind of question, right? But in order for you to be able to access a different question, you have to have a different belief, right? You have to believe that no matter how things appear, it is always possible to transcend them, right? Um, yeah, there's this beautiful story. I'll, I'll say it in short, okay? Um, it's, it's a story of two old men. They were arch nemesis for their entire lives. And they, they're very rich, they live, but they live really close and they were always trying to top each other. One lives on the top of this hill, the other one on the top of this hill. And this guy, he is um, bedridden, he can't even walk. This guy can barely walk. But this guy wants to, uh, wants to do a last hurrah. So on one day where uh, the gentleman on this side, his servants are off that day, and this guy figured it out. So slowly, painstakingly, on his with his walker, with his he he walks over and makes his way over to his arch nemesis, and he says, "You have no support now. You're helpless. You got no one around you." And and he he essentially is threatening to kill him. Right? And he says, there's nothing you can do. I can just, and he's got a gun. And he's like, I can just pull the trigger and there's nothing you can do. And you know what he answers? He says, oh yes, there is. What, what is it? What can you do? I can wake up. And he did, and he woke up. And so <laughs> this is a little bit um, of an abrupt ending, right? To that story, it's a little bit of funny ending, but this story, um, the story that uh, was conveyed to me by Anthony DeMello, if you've never heard this guy speak, I encourage you to check out his, um, he's got this beautiful talk that was transformed into a book called The Power of Awareness. Um, Anthony DeMello, you can look him up on YouTube. So, so the essence is this, that we actually always have a choice. There is never a dead end in, in consciousness because the truth of what consciousness is and the truth of what you really are is limitless, pure, unconditioned consciousness. Not a limited, separate, small being, separate from everyone else and out for survival. This is, this is a game, this is a play, this is um, a dream of life. And just like Buddha said, right? It, life is suffering. This dream, this dream of being a separate self is suffering. And this is a dream that we get to wake up from together. So that consciousness of lack and fear, it perpetuates lack of finances, lack of security, lack of safety, lack of well-being, lack of love and harmony in your home and in your relationships. So this is really important that we really get to the root of this problem because the, the problem is not that you don't have enough money. The problem is that there is a consciousness of lack that continues to re-manifest a lack of money. It's, it's, it's as if like we're trying to fix the, the movie screen instead of fix the projector. The projector is always projecting regardless of what you, know, you do to the movie screen. So then what's the solution? The solution is identifying and dissolving long-standing and subconscious limiting beliefs, right? Just like I said earlier, it's that we have to have a different kind of belief. We have to have the belief that transcendence is always possible, that there is no dead end, that all things always work out for good, right? So all of these different things are programs, right? And you may say, no way, things don't always work out for good, right? And then there will be like 7 billion people or more that will agree with you. But do you really want to be in that circle? Do you really want to be in that group think, in that environment, right? Yes, you can prove that you are limited, but do you want to? Because you can just as easily prove that you are unlimited, right? And that is our, 
the invitation to you today. So if you think about this kind of um, progression path, right? We have thoughts that lead to particular emotions that lead us to take particular actions that then give us particular results, right? So where do thoughts come from? Thoughts essentially come from our belief of who we are, where we are, in other words, what the world is, and who we are with or what the other is. And based on our beliefs on these three kind of core relationships, relationship with ourself, relationship with the other, and relationship with our environment or the world, based on this, we have particular kinds of thoughts. Based on our thoughts, we, we feel certain ways about what we're thinking about. And that leads us very often, we take action based on our feelings, based on our emotions. And then that leads us to a particular result. So that result, if you right now look around your life and you see a result that you do not say, you know what, I would have consciously chosen that, then this is where our opportunity lies. Just like David's opportunity when he realized that he didn't want to feel, keep feeling sick and my opportunity when I realized that, wow, yeah, I lost my mom, but at the same time, this opened me up to, to discovering everything that I'm here and you know, able to share with you and with so many. And uh, you know, it's, it's this, it's this. This is the opportunity that stands before all of us. These are essentially the levels of consciousness. This is the way that Michael Beckwith presents it. And I love this because it's very simple. It's very um, straightforward and it's easy to follow, right? We start with things happening to me. This is the level of consciousness that probably 95% of the world lives in. Things happening to me, what does that really mean? Well, when things happen to me, I essentially have no choice. They just are happening to me, right? I, I don't have a choice about the good things that happen to me. I don't have a choice about the bad things that happen to me. Do you know people like that? That essentially, you know, what, what, what we might call this is victim consciousness. Victim, not in the any kind of derogatory sense, but victim in the sense that um, you can only ever experience things uh, facilitated by powers outside of you, right? Um, and even as you hear people who are in this level of consciousness talk about their own behavior and their own choices, they will say, I had to do that because my wife that, or I had to do this because I have to go to work or I have to, that sense, that, that, that word have to, when you hear have to, you have to <laughs> identify it as part of that consciousness. It's, it's that when you say that you condition your desires through this phrase, I have to, or you condition your actions and you say, well, the reason behind that, and you explain it by have to, this is the sense of it's happening to me, right? Something outside of me is influencing me. And so I must respond. What's the next level? Where do we go from there? The next level is by me. Okay. And so this is the journey that I want to take you and want to invite you at the end of this um, training on. So next stage is by me. It's happening by me. What does that mean? Well, when it's happening by me, now I feel myself author of my actions. I don't say anymore, I have to. I say, I choose to, I want to. Uh, this, 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 is, this, this is what my choice is. This is my will, right? So by me is when we begin to, for the first time, this is the whole realm of like personal development, where you hear people who are, let's say, following Tony Robbins, Dean Graziosi, Brendan Bouchard, all of these amazing trainers, they're essentially getting you to take more and more responsibility for your choices. And then you can stand here in the midst of it, say, okay, yes, I did that. I am choosing my direction, right? That's the next level of consciousness is by me. And then this is where the transition begins to happen. Next level of consciousness is through me. So somebody who's living in by me does not have a great sense of relationship to their higher consciousness or their higher self. You see, through me really means that there is something coming through me, right? I, I, I want you to really distinguish this from uh, to me, right? So in to me, things are happening to me and they're out of my control and life is out of my control and even I am out of my control. Then we take that control back. This is the journey. And this step is very, very, very essential. 
Because if you don't take that control back and you say, you know what, I'm giving my will to God. I want to, you know, I'm, I, I'm pursuing my sole purpose, but you haven't actually taken your free will back from the program of it's all happening to me back from the program of victimhood, then you're not giving anything. Then you're basically just mm, saying empty words. But through me is the conscious recognition that there is a higher self, that there is a higher intelligence than my own egoic memory-based intelligence that's based on learning and everything that I experienced. There is a higher superconscious aspect to me and I allow that superconscious aspect to move through me, to speak through me, to express through me. And I listen, not to memory, not to um, my egoic desires that are based on a version of things I don't like and craving after the things that I want. Not that. But I instead listen to that intuitive vertical insight. And I allow that to orchestrate, to guide, to direct my life. That is the level through me. Here, things become significantly more easy. It's not anymore this like, rah, hurrah, yes, you know, I'm going to make it happen. It's not like that anymore. It's graceful. You begin to experience more and more, greater and greater degrees of grace. And grace begins to move you and begins to translate life for you so that you're no longer reframing. You're no longer trying to um, make a different sense of it. But it begins to happen automatically through an inner revelation. Mm -hmm. And then where do we go from there? From there is the last stage in this model. And it's as me. So through me still has some element of I am here and controlling it to some extent. So it's through me. I am following your guidance. I'm following the guidance of my higher self. But as me, I am no longer following a guidance. In fact, there is no longer that second I. There is only the guidance. There is only consciousness. There is only the higher self. And it's as if that we may talk about it this way, that we have merged with our higher self. Before that, it was maybe like this, and we were following its direction. And now it's, we are so close. We are so one with it that it begins to just express effortlessly. And this is where you'll hear in spirituality is saying that you are not the doer. Um, I, it, it's, um, there's a part in scripture that says that my father, uh, he uh, doeth the work that is given me to do, right? So what does that mean? My father, the father means consciousness, right? So uh, my consciousness is carrying out everything that is given me to do is carrying out all of my purpose, right? So that is a deep and profound oneness with life where you no longer are trying to organize your life from a limited point of view, but instead from this infinite point of view. You remember the matrix? Remember, you know, how when they're inside of the matrix, they pick up a phone, right? And then they're like, hey, you know, where do I go? And the operator is telling him, go left, go right, open that door, right? The operator there is representing a higher vantage point, a higher viewpoint of consciousness. And it's allowing them, if they listen, they will get um, direction in ways that there is absolutely no way for them to see it. But from a higher level of consciousness, absolutely, it is plain as day what should be done and where, where, where we're going, right? Where to go. So this is, this is the journey. This is the thing. The, the things that I love. This is my greatest passion. So how do we make that journey? What is it? You know, and here's where I want to introduce you to the inner circle four-step formula. Okay. It's the exact recipe for how to successfully manifest your goals, right? In broad strokes, but you'll see that this is actually something that here in this training, we already went through these steps. So step number one is clarity. It's to identify and know in holistic detail what it is you truly want, right? So I tried to paint that picture for you in the beginning, right? When I contrasted, hey, there seems to be lots of problems, but what is the core problem, right? We, we need to know what we actually want. What is it that we're solving, right? What is it that we're aspiring to? The reason that many people fail right out the door 
uh, towards their goals, they don't really know what they want. Then, hey, I want to be rich. I want to be enlightened. And I want to have all the love in the world. Okay, great. Um, how does that, you know, desire manifest? And you see what the person does in their daily life. It has nothing to do with that. Because you will see that each time they have a choice whether to do something that's related to what they just said or go on uh, Facebook or Netflix or something like that. They choose the Facebook and Netflix. So it's not what they truly want. So it's really important to know with clarity what is it that you truly want. Next is simplicity. This is the second gate um, where people fall off. Not knowing what steps to take, right? So simplicity means that we identify and envision the steps to get you there. We have to break it down. There has to be a clear and concise path where we know exactly where we're going. We know what the next step is, right? We know what we're moving towards. There's something in our brain called the reticular activating system. And if we don't give it any direction, it, it gets us nowhere. But if we give it the direction, if we anchor in an intention, then suddenly it begins to show us within uh, our world, all of those opportunities, all of those things that are related. You know, one great example of this is repeated many times, but for those of you who don't know it yet, is think about when you buy a car, when you get your, you know, new car, and uh, you were thinking about, um, you know, hey, getting this car, and you finally get it, let's say it's a, it's a new Tiguan, or it's a new, um, I don't know, three series BMW, or whatever it is, and then suddenly, once you get that car, you drive around, and you notice, everywhere, these cars, they just become so clear in your awareness. And the reason why that happened is because your brain now identified that, oh, this is important. This shape, this, this geometry is important. Look for it and, and highlight it whenever it comes up. Okay. So this is the same reason why simplicity is very important. Sometimes we overcomplicate things. We, we say, okay, I want to be enlightened, but we have no steps to get there. Or we say, I want to be financially free, and we have no steps and we're, we're not even thinking about any steps. We don't even sit down to try and write anything. We're just like, oh, I want to, but I obviously I can't. And you can identify where that is, right? That is at the level of uh, by me. No, not by me, <laughs> to me. The world is happening to me. So next is going to be, and by the way, if you have questions, do drop them in the Q&A and I hope to have a little time yeah, we, we should definitely have a little time at the end for some um, question and answer, and we can we can jump into those. I see some of you are raising your hands, um, so we will get to that absolutely. Number three is beliefs, right? Even if you have the clarity and you know the steps that you need to take, but you don't believe that this is possible for you, you have some subconscious belief. For example, that you say, you know what, I, I, I decided that this year will be the year that I have my financial breakthrough. I am no longer living paycheck to paycheck. That is over. And then you sit down with somebody, maybe even a coach or financial planner. You have the exact steps. You're like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And then you don't do it. Have you experienced that? Have you had these experiences where you decide on something and then you just don't end up doing it? You even wrote out what you're going to be doing, right? I know I certainly have, right? And the reason that why we don't take action is because we don't have the belief, right? We don't have the faith that it's possible. So when we don't have the belief, even if we have all the other steps right, we end up stopping. So step number three is to identify and dissolve limiting beliefs, programs, and identities, okay? Limiting beliefs programs, it's obvious, right? But identities, what does that mean? Well, sometimes we identify as a particular, let's say, vocation, right? Oh, you know, no, I am just, uh, you know, stay-at-home mom, for example. I can't do that. I always have stay-at-home mom the whole, my whole life, right? And so when we have this and we identify that way, if you love it, great, absolutely no problem, big honor and respect and, you know, cheering you on in, in doing exactly what you love. But if you don't, then most likely what you're experiencing is a limited belief. You believe yourself to be something and you essentially put this little mm, bubble around you and say, I can't go outside of that bubble. So this is the key here. And the way that we can do this, the way that we can begin to um, identify these beliefs is we essentially say this. It's like, 
what must I believe in order to feel that way? Let's say that you, um, again, you worked out the plan and then you notice that weeks have gone by and you haven't um, taken any action on it. And you say, you ask yourself, what must I believe that is preventing me from taking action on this plan that I clearly have laid out here? And you sit down and you just listen, just be patient and begin to write down stream of consciousness without editing. What is it? Oh yeah, you know, oh, I feel like, okay, so if I have money, I'm gonna have more responsibilities. Oh, maybe I feel like if I'm making more money then my wife is gonna stop working and I don't feel like that's fair. You know, so all of these different things, you will notice that on a conscious level, you're not aware of any of them. But as you allow yourself to slowly intentionally, deliberately listen inwards, you will find these associations that you might even be embarrassed of because you'll say, oh, no, I don't think that way. And then boom, they go right back into your shadow, but they still affect you from there. They still influence you. You can't really transcend a belief without bringing it into the light and like this, questioning it, getting clear on what it is, and then changing it, dissolving it, letting it go. And how do you let it go? You, 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 there's many, there's so many different techniques. Um, and you may even just work with frequencies too. You can work with frequencies like removing negative energy and just with frequency in your intention, just say, okay, here, I have identified this. This is the core belief that's been limiting me. And you sit down with a frequency session and you say, ah, okay, I'm willing to let this go. This is my intention now. So in these five or 10 minutes or whatever, however long I'm sitting, I'm sitting here and I'm releasing. I'm allowing myself as if I am just standing under a shower of light, shower of these frequencies, letting myself be bathed in these waters and wash it away, okay? It's, you know, what I'm saying now, if, if this sounds a little bit abstract, a little bit woo-woo, what we're talking about here is symbolism. And our mind is based entirely on symbolism. So this is why even like dream interpretation is a thing, right? It's these different symbols in your dream, what do they mean about you? There's a, there's a whole field, a whole arm of psychology that's based on that. Well, the reason is that our mind works in symbols. And so when we use our visualization, when we use our intention in this symbolic way, we are actually, what we're doing is we are learning to use those invisible levers, those invisible pulleys, those invisible dashboards of our mind to direct it in the way that we consciously and deliberately want to. Lastly, step number four, and I can't stress this enough how important this step is, it's the environment. And why I put environment slash frequency is because our environment is a frequency. The people around us, the, um, you know, again, even just the, the, what we typically think about as frequencies, the, the, the frequencies, the nature around us, the sounds around us, the electromagnetic activity around us, all of this is our environment. The words that are being spoken around us, words that are being spoken at us, all of this is our environment and it is our frequency and it is conditioning us to be a particular way. So your old environment was designed by your old level of consciousness. When I say old environment, it also is this environment, this present envi environment. The present moment is ever fresh. But if you look around you and you see what is around you, what you're going to see is all of the things that have come from the past, like this, you know, this glass. How do I know that this is a glass? Because I, <laughs> I have experienced glass like this before, right? And so I'm bringing this, um, this kind of memory into this, this moment. Um, so everything also here, and the, in why I was started to say that is because all of our associations also. So if how I feel about this object or that object or the objects that surround me um, or the people that surround me, all of this is the environment that is conditioning how I can ex express myself, how I believe in myself, what is what I think is possible for myself. So. Your old environment was designed by your old level of consciousness. You need a new environment that matches your new beliefs about yourself, right? So this means that when we surround ourselves with people who support our new belief, who support our new direction, who support us awakening to our highest potential and expressing it, then we are so much more likely 
to be able to attain to and express that new level of consciousness. But you must have, on the flip side, heard this term, right? The crab in the bucket. Have you ever heard about this? Crab, and this is, you know, I thought, okay, what is this? Where is this coming from? But it's a real phenomenon. So if you put a bunch of crabs into a bucket, right? Um, if you put a bunch of crabs into a bucket and one of the crabs starts to climb on the other ones and it gets to the edge of the bucket and starts to try to get out, you know what happens? The other crab, one of the other crabs grabs one of its legs and it pulls them back down. This is why you never have to put a lid on crabs in a bucket. So this same phenomenon can also be witnessed in our environment and the people around us. And it's again, not that they're doing anything wrong or not that they're doing anything consciously. It's just that you may have noticed this growing up with your family, right? You say, hey, you know what? I want to be an engineer, right? But let's say that you grew up in an environment where all your, your family always worked in fast food restaurants or you know janitorial kind of jobs. And they say to you, yeah, engineer, <laughs> and they all get together and they laugh at you, right? You, you, you must have seen this at least in movies, but you get this concept. So that is the effect that our old environment has on us. It is, it is in essence, something that adds an additional obstacle to um, us transcending, to us changing, um, changing ourselves, changing our ways. This concept of transformational environment aligning with the frequencies that support your new paradigm of reality, right? So as I was saying, an environment, uh, we, we have two possible choices, right? An environment that will pull you down and reinforce your limiting beliefs, or an environment that will lift you up and support you in your new beliefs. So here it is. This is that rare opportunity for those of you who are committed to truly and radically transforming your lives over the next 12 months. So I wanna invite you into this, um, into this possibility, but this possibility is not for everybody. This opportunity is not for everybody. So who is it not for? It's not for those who are looking for those get rich quick schemes or get enlightened quick schemes, instant enlightenment, just wire me in, you know, um, it's not for that. This actually requires your participation, your intention. We are doing the heavy lifting, but you're going to get an incredible amount of support in doing that heavy lifting, but it's still required. It's still required for you to have enough courage to turn into yourself, to find those limiting beliefs in those areas that are key and important for you and to transform and transcend them. It's also not for those who are not willing to do the work to get the results. Okay, so this isn't, you know, necessarily a done for you, but it's as close as you can get to a done for you when it comes to, um, when it comes to ascending in consciousness, when it comes to transcending the limitations of um, our reality and of our past. And it's also not for those who are unwilling to let go of victimhood mindset. If to you, it's really clear that the world outside of you controls and determines um, how you feel, what you think, what you should believe. If this is just clear and set for you, then this, this conversation, this opportunity might not be for you because it requires that we are willing at least to peek beyond the veil of our ego mind and entertain a new possibility. But this is for you if you are committed to self-actualization and fulfilling your highest potential in all of the important areas of your life, then that can include finances, health, spirituality. This is also for you if you're committed to living a life of passion and purpose and you want to be surrounded by others who are doing the same. And this is also for you if you're committed to being part of something bigger than yourself, something that makes a true and positive impact on the planet. So what is it? It is the unlimited abundance inner circle mastermind, transcending limitations and manifesting your highest potential. So this is a very rare opportunity. We've never done it like this before. I don't know if we're going to get it to do it again. Maybe if we really love it and um, you know we have amazing results, 
then we might repeat it again in, in a year's time or so. But here it is. It's a 12-month mastermind to support you to create your most radical transformation and embody your highest potential. You're going to get access to essentially the most powerful chi life frequencies, the inner circle frequencies. There will be up to two hours per month of training plus your homework practice. So there is a little bit of a time commitment. This is a commitment-based opportunity. And also, you're going to get support and accountability to help you to actually make sure that you follow through on those steps, that you have the clarity, you have the simplicity, you have the tools that you need to transcend those limiting beliefs, and you have the understanding of what are all of those levels and what's the next level of self-realization and self-actualization to help you to bring forth your highest potential. And we're going to include some priceless bonuses for you as well. So I also wanted to bring this up because I'm familiar with a few of these um, personal development, like personal success masterminds. So how much does it normally cost to join a mastermind group? There's the Genius Network with Joe Polish. He charges $25,000 for his larger mastermind um, or $100,000 a year to join his more exclusive one where there's only 50 people. Then we have Brendan Burchard's High Performance Mastermind. I highly respect Brendan's work. I highly endorse it. It's really, really on point at that level of learning how to live life by me. It gets you to um, dial that in in a really profound way. So his High Performance Mastermind is $30,000 a year. Um, and then Lewis Howes has got this amazing podcast. Um, so he's got the Greatness Mastermind, $42,000 a year. Pretty big numbers. But people are paying those numbers because imagine the value of having an entire tribe of people who support you, who believe in you, who accept you as you are, who celebrate your success, and who inspire you to be the best that you can be. Well, here is that offer that um, David mentioned in the beginning. This is a very special offer, and I want to extend it to all of you here watching this. It's the Inner Circle Lifetime Membership, and it's only $19.97 for a lifetime. But we're also, this time, for the first time, including some amazing bonuses, some priceless bonuses. So we're going to have... Not only do you get everything that normally comes with the inner circle, which is the 52 um, exclusive higher quantum inner circle frequencies, which are essentially the kind of creme de la creme of our Chi Life Frequency Library, the very best, the very most comprehensive, most holistic frequencies. But in addition to that, you also will have um, the 12 month inner circle exclusive mastermind. We're also going to include a 12 month uh, membership to the Transformation Masterclass. Along with that, we'll include the Transformation Course, which is something that David Wong developed. And while supplies last, we also dedicated a number of Qi Energy Pro cards that will be included with this offer. So I want to just uh, run through these with you. So the Inner Circle uh, as many of you probably are familiar with the inner circle, the inner circle is essentially the very best frequencies that we have, combined with access to both myself and David for mentorship, to be able to ask questions, to be able to really dial in your use of frequencies and your devices. Then we have the 12 month inner circle exclusive mastermind. This is where we're going to be focusing on self actualization and self realization. We're going to be focusing on transcending our limitations, and coming into a state of limitless abundance. Limitless abundance doesn't mean necessarily just financial abundance. It means an abundance of whatever is truly important to you, an abundance of love, an abundance of spiritual connection, an abundance of um, physical, emotional, mental well-being. This is what we're talking about when we say unlimited abundance. And the Transformation Masterclass. I think many of you here are uh, already members of the Transformation Masterclass. The Transformation Masterclass is something that um, I created to essentially be able to help you to 
maximize your experience with using the full spectrum of the chi life frequencies to really understand how to merge external technologies, such as the chi coils and frequencies with our internal technologies, which is the way that we use our consciousness. And so with the Transformation Masterclass, this is an additional um, support group where we get to meet twice a month for the first uh, meeting with focus on the masterclass, which is bringing in a new concept, a new training, a new practice. And the second part of it is a mastermind where we talk about, you know, going just deeper into the concept and activating the mastermind principle so that we can all help each other grow. And then we have the transformation course. And uh, I wonder if David, um, if you want to speak on this a little bit about the transformation course and give us a little bit more insight into it. Yeah, thanks for it, Boris. That's a lot of important um, training you've done. So um, great job on that. So about the transformation course, it's uh, something that I've put together over uh, several years. I took everything that I've learned and through my own experience, um, created a very simple system is a pyramid with, with five levels. And to build yourself up from wherever you are now, uh, and then to get you to what your dream or what you are uh, destined and what your life purpose is going to be. So start with the fuel, which is chi energy, right? You need to have some kind of chi energy. You need to have some kind of energy source in order to get your life off the ground, whenever you, in order to heal yourself or in order to um, become more successful or become financially free. You need some kind of fuel to, whether it be emotional fuel or physical fuel or spiritual fuel, you need some kind of fuel to ignite that change. Without that, nothing's going to happen. Then the next level is your um, engine. You need to have all your cylinders firing at the same time, just like a car engine. If you have a lot of fuel in the car, but then your all your cylinders are not firing properly, they're all dis disorganized and uh, uncoordinated, then your engine is just going to wreck, your, wreck itself. You're not going to get any power from your engine. So you need to learn how to align the different cylinders in your life, such as your uh, your heart, your mind, your body, and your spirit. How to align all those and coordinate them and synchronize them so that you have a very efficient engine without burning a lot of fuel. All right. Next step is to find the direction. So once you have an engine, you got a car, you have a vehicle. Where are you going to go? Which way are you going to? Which way are you going to go? How are you going to navigate your life? And then step four is clearing. Now you're going to navigate. Now you know where to go. How can you clear the obstacles ahead of you? How can you clear the obstacles? in your path uh, or it could be internal obstacles inside of you are there any blockages are there any things that are holding you back or sabotaging yourself then um achieving prosperity or manifesting so that's a, the final level how to basically clear up everything so that you can manifest easily and almost instantly um, sometimes even instantly and to basically manifest anything that you want become truly prosperous in your life so that's what this program is and it includes uh, qigong meditation practices for every level includes some very practical some very um profound um truths that i've learned that you can apply to your life very very quickly so that's what the transformation course is normally it sells for uh two thousand dollars but then we're actually including it in this package so that's a lot of value in there so we have the transformation course. And lastly, uh, we even have this bonus of the Qi energy cards, um, a, Qi, a Qi energy card pro included while supplies last with this offer too. So here it is. This is kind of all of it together. You, you get access to the exclusive inner circle frequencies, which are valued at over almost $3,000. The inner circle exclusive mastermind, which is a $2,000 program. You get access to 12 months of the Transformation Masterclass, $700. The Transformation Course that David just mentioned about, another 2,000, and the Qi Energy Cards, 129. So together, all of that value is over $7,660. So this is the value that you're getting, but truly you're getting so much more than this because truly, like, if any of this works, <laughs> and it works. But if any of this works, it is so much more valuable than you can really put a price on. Because if your problem truly gets solved, if you truly alleviate that suffering, that limitation, that 
sense of not really doing what you're here to do, then that's, that's priceless. Um, so I wanna highlight that for you. So do you want to create the most transformational and empowered year of your life? Who wants to do that? Please you know, raise your hand or type in yes in the chat. I certainly want to do that. I certainly want to um, create the most transformational year and what a time to do it. What a time of incredible opportunity uh, that is happening in the world. If you want to take advantage of this, if you're interested in this offer, I want you to go ahead and text yes to 323-499-3356. You can just grab your phone and drop that in. And I'll reach out to you and I'll set you up with the application and give you an opportunity to apply for this Inner Circle membership. I also want to ask you, David, um, how, what does it really take to qualify for the Inner Circle? Uh, I think you already mentioned it, but basically we're going to be interviewing you and we're going to be finding out if you're a, a suitable candidate for this group. Uh, we're not letting everybody in. We'd had to, you know, we had to turn some people down before because they just weren't, uh, didn't meet the criteria that we had. Um, but, um, you know, we, it was just something that you think that you um, would, would, would help you, um, which I think it will, then you should talk to Boris, send him a text message, and uh and then we can start the conversation so like we, we really have to get to know who you are and uh we'll see if we can align together because this is an inner circle group and um like i myself i have very little time to do things like this and i don't want to be wasting time with people that you know are not serious or people who aren't at the in the, in the right phase or like in their life to to take on this inner circle because um it, it's not for everyone May, not everybody is in the point in their lives where they're ready for something like this. Uh, but if you are ready, then 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 you you would be, you know, not a good idea to not take this opportunity because this could literally take you to the next level. Um, this is the next level of transformation. That's what it says on the website, right? Um, because it's truly the next level. If you're, you know, if you come to a certain point in your life uh, where you experience some uh, kind of transformation, whether it be through the frequencies you you felt some transformation with that or through the cheek coil or through some other product and you want to supercharge that process and you want to um put it on put rocket fuel into your your into engine and put some nitro into your engine <laughs> then then this is the the this is the program that you need it's going to you know take you to where you want to go the, in the fastest way like even when we had the inner circle with just the extra frequencies it was worth way more than the two thousand dollars we're charging. Then we add now. Now we're adding Boris's masterclass. That's that's just crazy. We just add another thing in there for 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 free. And then now we're adding my transformation course, which is absolutely amazing. And you get that for free. And then we give you another pro energy card. And then other people charging thirty thousand dollars a year for a similar program to this. And they don't have any frequencies. They don't have a product to give you. It's just training. We're giving you products. We're giving you free frequencies that cost $4,000 for free. And it's lifetime. So this is the just a crazy no brainer. Now that I think of it, I don't I don't think I want to charge this this low. I need to charge more for this. Now that you know Boris showed me, whoa, how come I'm not charging hundred thousand dollars for for my master class? <laughs> In my inner circle, I should be charging $100,000. Um, but we're not because we want to keep it low. We want to have more people experience this. And yes, we will increase it up to $50,000 or $100,000 eventually. As you can see, like very after probably after this uh, month, we will be increasing to at least $3,000 and then $5,000. Uh, and then it won't be a lifetime, it will be yearly fee uh, after that. Um, but for now, you know, if you want to take advantage of it, now you can take advantage of this opportunity. You're getting a heck of a deal. Um, yeah, I feel like we should be charging a lot more and it will be worth it. Absolutely. I definitely agree with you, David. I think it's an incredible deal. And I promise you, like, it's it's not going to disappoint you. The, the level of commitment and energy that I bring to it, and I know that David brings to it, 
and all of the support that you have from the group of people, of like-minded people coming together, uh, dedicated to transforming their lives, it's, it's going to be an unparalleled experience for you. So these are some of the frequencies that are included in the inner circle. So they are inner circle frequencies because nobody else has access to these unless they are in this group. So they include the, the um, uh, abundance bundle, which has uh, eight frequencies for attracting abundance. Manifesting bundle, we have all these frequencies, the most powerful manifestation frequencies we have. We have abundance plus, which is even more abundance attraction, brain boost, which is everything you need to improve your brain performance and even psychic ability. Manic, mind expansion, which includes the most powerful psychotropics that we have, including like LSD, mushroom, psilocybin, and cannabis, and, and salvia, which nobody else has. There's nobody else that has these frequencies. We only, only we do. Job and career. So uh, these frequencies help you to to excel in your job and career, abundance money, abundance business. So anything to do with abundance and manifestation uh, and personal transformation, these are the most powerful frequencies that we have and they're not available anywhere else. You have to be part of the inner circle, all right? And I use these personally. Uh, I use them at least once a day. I'm, I'm using these frequencies and that's one of the my secrets. People say, what's, what's the secret? How do you... How do you create so much? How do you manifest so much in such a short time? And most people can't do it. Most people are amazed. And then a lot of people are angry too at me because I'm going so fast. So, <laughs> but, um, but that's okay because this is me. This is what I can do. This is, this is um, my ability. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going with it and with the help with you know, awesome friends like Boris and with, with your help as well. So uh yeah i'm just really excited about the inner circle frequencies i mean like i said those alone is just in i mean if you have if you just listen to one of the abundance frequencies like attract abundance and then that increases your income by 10 percent this year not saying that's good that will but let's say it increase your income 10 percent because you you have you, you tune yourself into this new reality of abundance and you just attract a little bit more abundance in, in this life 10 percent more it's you know, most people make what is it, average income, like $60,000 a year, right? So let's say you make $6,000 more, more per year. That already pay for three times of your inner circle, just for that one frequency that we have in the inner circle, right? But you have 57 frequencies in there. Just imagine that each one of them increase your, in, increase your, your abundance, it attracted 10% abun more abundance with each frequency. That's 570% more abundance in your life. Okay, I'm a math guy. Okay, so that's why I'm, I'm sitting. But it, it just makes logical sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Right? 57 frequencies. If you increase your abundance 10%, and the average person makes $60,000 a year, so that's 6,000 times 57. I don't even know what that is. That's, that's a lot. That's a big number, but it's a lot lower than $2,000 <laughs> that you pay. <laughs> yeah. And that's just the frequencies. And then we got the course. We have two trainers. We have Boris and me to train you. We're actually pretty crazy to to offer it for for such a low price. Having yeah. a revelation here, <laughs> yeah. I love it. I should have thought about this more before we we offer them <laughs> this 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 price. Um, but it's it's here, it's there, it's here, and and it's for you to take advantage of. Yeah. So if you want to take advantage of it, if you want, if you're just even thinking about it, and you kind of just want to have a conversation about it, you want to learn more. Um, be sure to reach out to me. One of the best ways is just to send me a text message at 323-499-3356. Um, you can also, of course, just go on the Chi Life website and just uh, touch in with support and uh, they'll direct you to me as well. Who found great value in today's training? Please uh, let us know, raise your hand, type yes in the chat uh, if you found great value in today's training. I certainly did. I found great value spending this time here with you. And so how many of you know that if you received all of the resources and the support of the inner circle, that you would fulfill your aspirations faster? Do you guys, can I also get you to raise your hand and let me know if, uh, if you think so, if you think that you had all of these frequencies, you had mine and David's support, you had all of this training available, that you'd be able to fulfill your aspirations faster? I think so. Yeah. You are only one decision away from a totally different life. If you feel 
if you're feeling it, if you feel like you want to commit to a year of transformation, a year that truly makes a difference, you can look back on this year and say, wow, this was the year that it all changed for me. This was the year that it um, went to a whole nother level. Yeah, once again, um, just go ahead and reach out to me, um, send me a text message, and we'll set you up with an application. We'll set you up with an interview. We'll get to learn about what's really important for you. And if the inner circle is a fit for you and you're a fit for the inner circle, I would be more than happy. I would be blessed to invite you in and to take this journey of transformation together with you. I want to maybe just um, conclude with thanking you for your time and your love, all the love and attention that um, you gave us when uh, David and I were presenting and that you shared with the whole group, this energy. Uh, there's an anonymous person who says, if I'm chronically sick and currently disabled at the time, is this transformative pro program for me? Yes, of course. That's, I mean, I was chronically sick and, and uh, it helped me transform. And this, this program is basically everything that Boris and I have, have used in our own lives to transform ourselves. And you're going to get exactly the same thing that, that we use in all, you know, all the processes and all the, all the things that we we've uh, incorporated into our lives. So absolutely it can help you. Uh, all the trainings on the inner circle will be recorded. So if you do miss a, a specific class, you will be able to watch it later and you can still uh, interact with it, even if, uh, if it's um, completed, because we'll have that uh, inner circle group on uh, Facebook private group that you'll be part of. So you can always watch it later and interact with the people in the comments afterwards. And you can always uh, interact with Boris or myself on the Facebook group. John says, uh, are the Qi coils uh, considered a Rife machine? That's a good question. And do you have the original Rife frequencies? Uh, yes, we do. So yes, uh, Qi coils are not a um, traditional Rife machine, but you can use it with Rife frequencies. So basically it's a, you know, a modern Rife machine using electromagnetic frequencies. We have a Rife app that has all of Dr. Rife's frequencies. Um, and a lot more. Actually, it has over 3,000 uh, frequencies on the Rife app. So you can use it as a Rife machine, and lots of people do that. Uh, Earl says um, he's been using the Qi coils to demonstrate to his friends using the Qi coils and the magnets, and the magnets are bouncing around, so that's good. And he's asking, is there another way to show people that it works? Like, how do you show people that the Qi coils work, right? Because it's invisible. Well, one, other than using the magnets and showing them moving around, and you know, with the magnetic field, there's another thing that you can do. So you would take two two jugs of water, all right. So fill two jugs of just water, and then you would put the chi coil near the jug, and then just play the um, you can play the life force frequency. Okay, play the life force frequency for about ten minutes uh, with one jug, and then put the jug maybe in another room so it's not affected by the frequencies. Then after ten minutes. Bring the two jugs together, and then, or, or you, this is what you do. Um, you use one jug and you fill uh, uh, some glasses with one water. You take another jug, the other jug that wasn't treated, and you fill a bunch of other glasses, and then you offer the glasses to your friends. Don't mix them up, but you don't tell them which is which, and they tell you which one tastes better. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And then what's going to happen is they're going to notice that one of them will taste more crisp than the other one. But definitely there will be a different taste. One of them tastes better than the other one. The reason is because the, the, the electromagnetic field and the frequencies would have restructured that water. So that's one cool thing. And then um, some people have more sensitivity in their taste buds than others. But I would say about 8 out of 10 of their friends will, will be able to tell a difference. Okay, so try that one. That's something very simple that you can use to, to show that the cheek holes work, right? Um, because... There's many people with different levels of sensitivity, right? Just the same way as people take medication. Some people take medication and it works better than others. Um, same with electromagnetic fields, same with chi coils. Some people are more sensitive to chi energy than others. For some people, you turn it on and say, whoa, I can feel it. I feel this feels good. I can feel energy. I can feel buzzy. I can feel uh, hot. I can feel all this stuff, right? Some people, you turn it on, they don't feel anything. And they'll have to use it for, let's say, three weeks before they start feeling it. So what you need to do is um, 
for those people that don't are not as sensitive, they'll need to use it longer or they don't need to turn up the volume higher. But for some people that are higher, more sensitive, they would turn down the volume and don't use it as much because you don't need it. Your body is more open to frequencies. Your body is more sensitive to it. So depending on like, if you have a lot of people that meditate a lot, you have a lot of friends that already into like, um, you know, yoga or Qigong or, or very in touch with their bodies, with their mind and body connection. Then most of them, if you, if you play the Qigong for them, they will feel it. But with, with people that don't have experience with it, they may feel it, but they don't won't, won't realize that something's happening because they don't have that mind body connection. Just like when people are in pain, a lot of times they learn to get, live with the pain and ignore it. There's no, because they learned how to sever that mind, mind body connection. Uh, so there's still a small group of people, about two out of 10, like 20% of people that are not sensitive to electromagnetic frequencies. Even though we hook it up to a uh, aura camera and then we show the before and after, before using Chihuahua's, after using Chihuahua's, you can see that the aura is bigger. It shows that their body and, and viral field actually gets bigger and stronger, even though they can't feel it. We show it's actually doing something. Okay, so like basically 10 out of 10 of people use Chihuahua's, you'll see it affecting their viral field. They're having more, you can measure the Chi energy in their body, but two out of 10 of them will not feel it. Does that make sense? Just so you know. Just so that if you actually use a cheat code and say, oh, I don't feel anything, I don't feel anything. Well, it's working still. You just don't feel it, but doesn't mean it does not working. Okay, just keep using it longer and then you'll actually start to feel it. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I also noticed that if you just put your hand, because our hands is very often the most sensitive um, part of our body. It has, our hand has many different um, secondary chakras in it that really connect to our heart. And so there's a great deal of sensitivity in our hands. So often, if you put your hand over the coil, you will begin to feel within a few moments, you begin to feel a tingling in your hands. And part of the reason that that tingling is taking place is because the coil, the pulsed electromagnetic fields begin to uh, actually open up microcirculation and more blood, more oxygen is being moved around. And you're, you actually can begin to sense and feel that movement, that additional um, uh, energy that uh, is generated in your circulation. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to say, uh, David, I saw a question here from Mike. Um, he was talking about, uh, is it possible to increase oxygen absorbing uh, if you have had some lung, lung scarring? Well, we, we have frequencies for lungs and we have frequencies for respiration. So whatever you, you have um, that needs support for your lungs, you can just use that and that will help that. Uh, oxygen absorption, that's more to do with your, could be your blood as well, Yeah. right? So um, we have frequencies for blood. So it can help you support your blood, bloodstream and- and Yeah, so what, one of the things also, Mike, um, to answer your question further, is that um, one way that we, uh, we increase oxygenation in our body is greatly like what David was saying uh, about um, the blood cells. So before we even get into specific frequencies, just the field, the, the harmonic of the pulsed electromagnetic field actually help to separate your blood cells because sometimes red blood cells, what begins to happen, especially when we have an acidic environment in our body or we're feeling ill or we've had some kind of illness, they tend to stick together because they've lost their polarity. And so when they're all stuck together, it's called a rollo effect. So it's kind of like as if the blood cells are all stuck together like this and they're trying to get into the capillary, they're trying to absorb blood, uh, the oxygen, but they have much less surface area than when they're all separate, right? So this is another thing that the cheek oils will help you to experience is to um, create more surface to absorb the oxygen, increase the oxygen carrying capacity, in other words, of the red blood cells, which even if you have a limited capacity in your lungs due to scarring or whatever, you can still increase the amount of oxygen that gets into your bloodstream and is delivered then to your brain, to your organs, et cetera. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it may even um, make your blood more viscous. If, if you look under mi microscopes, like of people who are like, have a lot of disease and a lot of cancer, you can see that their blood cells are clumped together and doesn't flow very well. And you can see that people who um, uh, even do PMF therapy or people who who uh, 
are you are using electromagnetic fields or people who who drink water that's structured um, you can see that their blood cells are like loose they're they're like not clumped together so so when the blood cells are loose it's able to carry oxygen oxygen a lot easier and you mentioned that you had um rheumatoid arthritis so PM, pmf or post electromagnetic frequencies are really uh, effective for uh, any kind of arthritis like my mom has severe um knee pain from a stroke and she uses my chi coils um and then there's no more pain or the pain has gone down at least 80 percent she was having such excruciating pain before that she she couldn't even like get up out of bed and then she it was just really bad and now she uses chi coils without and she was taking medication and then the doctor would prescribe stronger and stronger medication painkillers for her and then i was to the point where she was taking you know they just were prescribing way too much right because that's all that's all they do right if you if it doesn't reduce the pain they'll just give you a stronger dose and stronger dose and there's no limit to it um but then, then i just told her i said just use my chicos and then she did um and then now i got a new set of chicos and she loves them and then she doesn't have to take the medication anymore she just uses she clothes. First of all, she saves a lot of money and is a lot healthier for her, no more side effects. Um, and, and it's free to use, right? So so for any kind of arthritis, I think it's very, very effective. Um, we've had lots of people like um, Joe Ramirez, I, I think he's on this webinar now. He had severe back pain and um, now it's all gone, right? Maybe he's here, still here, I'm not sure. But there's a lot of people who have back pain, arthritis, any kind of joint issues, it works very well for those. One of the top things that people use, hey, Tony's here. So one of the top things that people use is uh, our Chico's for is for pain relief. And they use it for any kind of arthritis, any kind of joint pain. So anything to do with like bones or like, I have the healthiest bones, okay? Like if I punch, like in martial arts, people say, holy cow, your knuckles are like rocks. <laughs> and they say, holy cow, your, your form is like a, like a steel bar. Okay, it, it really hurts when somebody gets hit by by my punch. I don't and I don't even punch that hard. And that's because I have really dense bones. And how do you do it? Well, it's because of Qigong. That's it's, it's part of a martial arts that uh, is an iron. Have you who's heard of iron body training? Iron body Qigong? Okay, so it's an it's an actual practice and a technique. It's in my transformation course, by the way, um, that basically it's called the changing of the tendons and the changing of the of your bone marrow. So it, it converts them into something very, very strong. And so when somebody hits you um, and they're hitting you, but they hurt themselves. <laughs> just, like, just like if you, you punch a wall, the wall doesn't hurt, you just hurt your hand. So you become as strong as that. So people say, well, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna fight, it doesn't matter. But what if let's say you got hit by a car what if all your bones are like adam adamantium <laughs> the car would break and you would be okay well i'm not saying you're gonna be wolverine but you know the stronger that your 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 bones become then it's harder for you to get injured okay um so it, it transforms your your bones in that way and transform your tendons and transform your the, the inner resilience in, your, in yourself yeah I, I also want to just echo that um i know that in germany for many years, they have been using uh, pulse electromagnetic fields to uh, actually help to accelerate bone repair with bone fractures and, and various you know, uh, injuries that uh, have severed bones. So one of the um, other underlying benefits, so you see like the, the frequencies is amazing because it has something very clear and directional and specific, but there's many side effects, but they're actually all beneficial. So many beneficial side effects. And one of these is the increase in bone density, which is very important. It's important for men and women, but it's especially important for women as they begin to age. The thing that we have that's kind of uh, offered as a solution to this is many seniors, uh, people, let's say, especially women again, over the age of 50 or 60, they're given these like calcium pills, which are literally like ground up rock. So unless you are buying really high quality plant-based kind of calcium, that may have some beneficial effect. But if you're buying kind of uh, generic brand uh, calcium 
uh, for bone health. This is the thing that gets stuck in your joints and you actually begin to experience arthritis and bone spurs. This is not the kind of uh, thing that actually makes your bones strong. But using cheek oils, using pulsed electromagnetic fields like this, it pulls the minerals back into the bones and helps you to actually have strong bones. Yeah, yeah so Linda says, are two coils best for pain relief? Um, two coils are best for everything. So uh, with two coils, you have uh, yin and yang, and with the minis, you have yin and yin. So it just gives you uh, a bigger field and you can basically put in two parts of your body at the same time. Uh, so yeah, two, two coils would be more effective than one. So can you use the mini coil for these frequencies? Yeah, absolutely. You can use mini coils for any frequencies that you want. Uh, Michael wants to know how long they should listen to the frequencies for. How long do you have to listen to them for? Uh, so up to three hours. So I wouldn't listen to them more than three hours a day because then you just have to just oversaturate. You don't need that much. So some people need more than others. It goes with the same... Uh, same idea of what I was saying before about um, some people are more sensitive than others. So same goes with the sound frequencies as it does with the electromagnetic. So some people only need like 20 minutes a day or 30 minutes a day. And then once you've heard enough, then you have this feeling that, oh, I had enough. I feel full. Then you can stop. Just like if you drink a lot of water, you're thirsty at first and now you're not thirsty and then again uh, anymore. And then you stop drinking the water or you eat food when you're hungry and then you full full. So same same when you listen to frequencies. Like sometimes when you know I have some tension in my brain or I have some tension and I need some kind of relaxation, I listen to the frequencies. And after a while, it goes away, and I say, "Oh, I don't need these frequencies anymore. I had enough." And then I turn it off. So it it works kind of like that. So um, how long do you need to uh, use them for? It is basically it changes from everybody, you know, from person to person. You just need to experiment it for yourself. Do you need, okay, uh, do you, Rizma asking, do you need to use the power kit when heading through the headphones? No, you don't need the power kit if you just listen to it. The power kit is more for the coils um, to give you more power to the coils. If you're just using the sounds, you don't need the power kit. And by the way, you can listen to the sound and use the coils at the same time. So a lot of people don't know this. They think, oh, I can, either listen to the sound or I can use the coils. But actually you can you do both at the same time. All you need is, is the splitter. There's a splitter that you can get on the website. Let me see. So you just go to any of our cheek coil pages. You can see all these accessories here, right? So now we have uh, the combiner here, this one. So now you can split up your um, whatever coming from your phone and you can split one goes to the coil and the other one can go to headphones. So you can listen to and you can use the coils at the same time. You just need this. It's only 19 bucks. And uh, there's all these other accessories you can get. So while I'm here, I'm going to ex explain what these are. So the mobile power kit that comes pretty much standard on all the um, all the uh, Chico systems, except the the Max. Chico Max system comes with the high power kit, but you can still add the high power kit to any system. So for $200 more, you get to add five times the power. So it's five times stronger than the Chico mobile power kit. Okay, so you can add that. Uh, these uh, gold magnetic therapies are really strong and really powerful. Um, you can put them on specific places on your body while using the coils or even without the coils, and they kind of focus the energy on them. These are stone hand type therapy, and, and it works kind of like this, but they work well when you hold them in your hand. So you hold, so you get eight of them, and uh, you can hold them in your hand like this, and you can feel them vibrating while you are um, using the coils. Or you can massage your hands with it. This is pretty, pretty neat. This is the new uh, Bluetooth receiver. So you want to have wireless operation. You can just add this to your mobile power kit and you can use your Chico's wirelessly. Uh, Chico adapter for iPhone and then the combiner. Right. So that's what all those accessories are for. Once again, um, if you're interested in the uh, inner circle, the the link is in the chat you can go to david wong inner circle.com if you're interested in any of the other products just go to chi life store.com uh, and you'll be able to access them there and thank you all so much you stuck around here till the end it's been a true pleasure to spend this time with you and to um 
to share with you my heart and, um, and to share with you this amazing opportunity. We have an incredible year ahead of us. And I'm so excited for each of you that's going to um, you know, have the opportunity to, to journey with us. Actually, yeah. we, missed one, we missed one question. Somebody oh. want to know, want to know if they can regrow their hair with the frequencies. And that's exactly what I did. I had a big bald spot in the back of my head and I was able to regrow my hair with uh, the technology. So um, there's a bald spot about this big in the back of my head. And then, and then I grew, regrew it. It took me four months to regrow it. So it, it works. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I look forward to seeing the inner circle. Just give a text message to Boris with that number. It's on the bottom of the screen here on the replay. And then, uh, or you can go to davidwonginnercircle.com. Right? Thanks, Boris. Use the Chi and Prosper. Yeah. <laughs>